I'm back at Crooked No Ranch. It's been almost a year. And I should have worn my water boots because the water looks so good. We'll do water next time. I've got to turn this camera off so I don't slide and fall down this hill. I made it down. Now i got to figure out where I'm going to start the process of digging holes. I will start by ever so gently crossing the moisture content to the other side where Crooked Nail Ranch was. I hope it's still cool enough that the mosquitoes haven't hatched. See, I'm going to wish I hadn't brought my boots off of my feet so I could get in this and detect. But I think my best, some of the best finds are up in there. Like I said, it's been a year. Actually, 11 months was the last video. So we'll go detect a little bit and then we'll come back and look this place. Remember the, uh, the bathroom tree? I wonder if it's still here. Oh no, it was way up there around the corners where I detected it. Alright, let's go. Let me turn this off. I think this is going to be a can. Because it was low tone mixed with some highs. What I don't want to do is load the man purse right off the bat with um, a gigantic metal can. But sometimes you've got to do that. It's not, look at that. You know what that is? That is a piece of a cast iron pot. That's neat. Okay. That's a good start in my dirt book. I'll show you my settings. I got it set, I got the iron discrimination turned up all the way to 40. And I got it on Pro Zero. That's a 60s right there. Let's see what it is. It's showing only two inches deep. Oh, that's a bummer. I was hoping it was going to be a head stamp, but not that new. Oh well, we'll take it. I've got to fine-tune my horseshoe hunting skills and I know I need to run my discrimination down a little bit but I thought I would just kind of look around for the fun stuff first you know what this is look at that look at that straight out of horse straight out of the horseshoe hole I'm cooking no ranch. I got a bunch of these last time. And believe it or not, that's what I'm looking for. This place was known to have a lot of horses a hundred years ago. That almost is like a throw-in one that's so big, isn't it? Mule shoe? Mule shoe. What would you like for dinner tonight? Uh, how about some mule shoe? That sounds good. And some yakisoba. Okay, that's one. And it went from 20s all the way up to 40s, so the corrosion on it makes it hit a high tone every now and then, so it's good. That's one. I turned my discrimination down a little bit. This, this one little branch running down into the bigger creek. Uh, I forgot what my spot is. This is where I found that modern case quarter last year. That's interesting that it's way over there. That's not where I wanted it to be. 
got to poke a few holes in it first. Get out of here. I mean, not really. Hang around. Oh, look at that. Let's see how many times we can do that. And I'm telling you, it's been one week since you looked at me. It's been over probably 70 plus years since there was any activity. Long before that road you hear above me where the cars are going by. This was the low zone and the creek runs through here. I found chains in here, bunches of horse tack and shoe number two. I don't know if the shoe fits. <laughs> Signal is a 7 to a 50. <laughs> Wide range. You're going to get that with the iron. It's going to be just all over the place. I'm hoping this is a piece of metal. It isn't. It's a rock. Piece of quartz. That is Mississippi mud. Still on there. Look at that. Horse with a handicap. I'll tell you what, they lost a lot of shoes. That's three. Well, okay. Two and a half. Skeeters are out. This was a 40s, still is, with an occasional 60, 2, 4. So maybe it is something other than a shoe. I gotta do some root reduction. Well, I thought it was gonna be deeper. Look at this little booger trying to get a nap. I'm gonna put you back. I know it's too cold for you to come out and play yet, so we'll gently put you right there. You rest, and the find is in here. There it is. This is a quite, quite interesting and impressive 22. So the next thing is, you check the ladder on the top. See what it is. The neat thing about any head stamp, you can clean them up on a tree. And they generally come pretty clean. This one, I know you can't see it, but it has an F on it. I thought it was a P. If it was a P, it would be Peter's. But it's an F, so it's probably federal or phlebotomy. I'm just kidding. I know phlebotomy starts with a poof. Okay, moving on. Okay, there's two quite interesting things here. One of them is that. Little fella. Oh, he's not alive. He is simply a crouton. A hollow crouton. Yeah. The second one is this. Check this out. There's a piece of wood with a piece of metal inside it. It could be a children's rattler. It could be a nail from Crooked Nail Ranch. Or it could be that. So the question is, what is that? Oh, it's got more wood around it. Oh, there it is. Look at that. It's a bullet that was shot into this tree that has since fallen. Let me get these gloves off my fingers. Look at that. Isn't that neat? It is a bullet in a tree. 
There it is. That's neat, isn't it? I think it's neat. I want to try and harvest it. That looks like it is a... There's so many bugs out. A 22 round. That's neat. So that's what happens when you shoot 22 rounds into trees. They stay there forever until a tree falls in there on the ground and I'll come find it. Winchester 410. It's plastic so it's not that old. Right here is a super high tone. 77, almost too high to be true. Out here. It is a it is a knot. Look there it is. Man, that could have been something incredible. It's got a little bling to it. Looks like it's got a little bullet hole through it. Right there. And right there. That is a 22 hole. Huh. That is the hole where you pour the stuff in that hole in your head the hole right under your nose. Let's take this with us, just because it's shiny. Cover the worms, too early for them to be out. This is a pretty good 50 signal here. Look, my boots weren't green before I got here. You don't have to worry so much about hole integrity down in an area like this. You really don't have to worry about digging a hole where your find is. You can dig right next to it. It's not a big deal. This sounds like a head stamp. But can't tell yet. I'm getting flogged with mosquitoes. That is a head stamp, but it's not the kind I'm looking for. It is a Mod Plas. That's short for Modern Plastic. Let's put that right there and move on to the next spot. This is a rather shallow 66 to 72. If I was in Zach Bird Adventure Hours neck of the woods, this would be a uh, three ringer Civil War bullet, but it is not. This oh, bugs. This says Norma 6.5 Carcano. I can stop and look this up. Actually, I can't because there is no cellular service out here there might be way up there but I'm not going up there Norma 6.5 Carcano I do not know what that is I've never seen one so I won't pretend like I know like it's some kind of something let's go next spot just under 665 to 70 something Oh man, I thought that was a spoon. It is not a spoon. It is a... Huh. If you're into Sardinania, this would be a good relic. I'm not into it. Let's cover this back up. Pretend like nobody ever saw it. Until I got it out, now it's the 30s. I was hoping it was proof we were back at Crooked Nail Ranch, but it's not. That is a substantially large round. That is a two ringer. <laughs> Almost looks like it maybe like a 35 caliber or something like that. But I'm guessing. And I said something like that, which is really an unnecessary statement. But check this out. It's always fun digging hunks of lead, but this is awesome over here, isn't it? 
There's a lot of fish in there. And around the edge there's some itty, itty bitty purple flowers. Actually, I can say they consider lavender. These are more like... Look at the fish, that's awesome. Ah, Every time you touch one of these bushes around here, you stir up so many bugs. Actually, you're not doing anything. I'm doing it. I'm stirring up so many bugs. I gotta take a break. Everybody likes to dig a hole, but who can stand not getting in the water? Got my water boots up in my wagon. Okay, I'll go dig a hole. I hear you fussing. Where's my gear? Right here, let's go. Got a 2-inch uh, 64, 65 right here. And I got an iron signal. It's even lower. This is probably going to be a I was using my finger like a pinpointer. Probably going to be a. Oh, I'm planning. Oh, look, it is a paper head stamp. Nice. The UMC is an REM. There's no star. Let's clean it up. We'll do that one of eight ways. I prefer the head stamp tree when I'm out in the wilderness. Then you dust it. That's even worse. We better we better scrub this one. That is an almost perfect one. REM UMC number 12. Nitro Club. No star. Late 18s to early 1900s most likely. Isn't that neat? What I thought about doing was figure out how to cut some of these off clean and get them cleaned out, get the rest of the paper out of them, and uh, put magnets in them. Wouldn't those be cool refrigerator magnets? I think so. Oh, here's another potty tree. This is for the, uh, the low one. There's a high potty tree somewhere else. It's more like... Anyway, we won't go there. I don't do many... Uh... Watch me walk before I metal detect shot, so that's what this is. Hang on, see if you can see me sneaking in. That was me just a second ago. Hey, you know those uh, tennis racket looking bug zappers? If I had one of those right now, I'd be having a blast. This is a 45. I think I see it. I don't need to do my pinpointer. There it is. That is a 22 Magnum. See? That is an awfully long. Magnum. I mean, like, longer than I'm. You know what we need to do? Let's verify. Let's go to the, uh, this is a smaller tree, which we'll use for 22s. And clean it up. Really should put it on there and give it a little twist and the softy bark. And go here and do that, and you look at it. It looks like an F. I'm gonna clean it up. It is actually an H, so it is a what I believe to be an early Hornady round. But I'm not positive. Can you see these bugs there? Over my head. Do you see any of those? You probably can't see them. Let's go dig a hole. This is a real lot. <laughs> There's so much pollen. 
pollen in the air. Everywhere I put my th all right, let's. This is a good 70s. Look at that. Okay. You gotta focus, man. You gotta focus. I can't find it. But I want you to see it, because I don't know what it is either. I mean, it was a real good 70s. Real good, like high tone 70s. Like. I promise. Right here. Now that's not going to do anything. What is it? Why is it happening? Did I miss it altogether? <laughs> well, I guess I did. It never hurts to dig more than one hole. Everybody needs to practice. This is awesome. Why do you see it? Look at that. I think that's George Washington. I think when I was a little tiny miniature person, you could peel those things out and there were pictures or prizes or something you can roll these up and put them in your man purse too if you want to I got a nice high 70s right here I thought it was going to be a beer can so I didn't record it and uh, actually I am recording it it is actually a lid a zinc oops a zinc lid it would have had a piece of glass in it possibly maybe they all didn't I'll make sure I take every piece of that with me though this one says nothing upon it that's too bad could have been giving you some a uh, little bit of praise right now how cool you were but no <laughs> oh. you're just a blank I got a uh, 52 to 53 right here. I promise I did. Okay, it's up there. Oh, we gotta clean it. This one is so hard to read. Look how big it is. It says, it says Western on it. And I can't see the rest. So I hang it up, then I'm gonna get ready to take a picture of it. Let's see how that works out. It worked. Let me find it again. There it is. I'm not sure you'll be able to read it. But, it says Western, and I can't read the bottom of it. At all at all that is neat in it that is definitely an old one something super that's super all right let's get it no harm was done to this branch in the making of this video that's neat i like it okay next this is a one incher right there but first there's somebody trying to hide over here these things right here will sting the daylights out of you 
No, that won't bother you. Let's see what this is. This was a 40s. Oh, yes! It was another head stampless. I'm gonna definitely end the head stamp kind of. I'm gonna brush it off. I'm gonna watch my process. Right here. I just found a list. Maybe this thing won't fall. Take this. You take this. Head brush. Head brush. And then you scrape them. You scrape it, scrape it, scrape it as hard as you can. Because if it's so messed up you can't see it, then you wouldn't have been able to see it anyway. But, if you can clean it up before you can see it, then you can see it. That says Peter's Victor number 16. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Peter's Victor number 16. I like it. Yeah, it does say 16. No such thing as 15. I got a rickety 20s. I like it. That is for real Crooked Nail Ranch. Historicana Americana. I wonder what that was. It looks like part of a big old buckle, doesn't it? Because it's almost semi trickle but which makes it a little more aesthetically pleasing let's keep it we need to go check out that tree in a minute but right now I got a 55 or 56 right here if I was in a playground this would be a canicle I'm getting hungry. It is feeling quite hungry out here. Oh, I'm going to tell you all about something. This is funny. You might think it's funny. Sorry, bug flew in my eyeball. Let me clean this up. I got to tell you something that I, I think is funny. Okay, I showed my bride this the other day too. There is a metal detecting channel. I do not know this person, and she did not ask me to show her channel, but, and I'll tell you how I found it. Her channel is called Sweet Beep, and if you scroll down, type in Sweet Beep Dance Vid, metal detecting, only one on the internet. It's got 123 views. I thought it was funny. I would not do that, but I think what she's trying to do is get everybody that metal detects to a step up and see if they can beat that little dance I don't know but anyway sweet beep two E's single B single P there's a couple of E's over there a T at the end and there's a SWA right at the beginning let's clean this head stamp up now it's a funny video sweet beep dance vid I don't know but seriously I don't know who that person is it's another Peters you can look up old Peters head stamps they're the most decorative like the whole front of it is a big old P Look at this. Oh, it's a lot bigger over here. You didn't tell me that. Oh, I got a bug in my ear. Hang on a second. You know, after coming out here, well, this is about my fourth time out here. It's a pretty good drive from the base camp, but I think I found an old road bed right here. And I got a silent 85 right there, but I never could pick it up again. And uh, see, there's the tree with the big hole in it. Uh, that ain't it. That's it. But I got a uh, signal right here. This may not be a road bed. Roads don't sleep. This is a crunchy signal. It may just be a piece of junk, but if this is 
a road bed. And this could be where the majority of the uh, good stuff is, right? I tell you what, it just goes to show you, you can stop anywhere and dig one of those. And dig anything. Anywhere. Just pull off the side of the road, as long as you're like, not in somebody's yard. In public place. And I'm in a public place, but it's kind of a challenge to get down here so nobody ever comes down here. Ever. Like, never. Except me and the bugs. This is the same spot where that shotgun shell just came out. I got a, uh, a low iron tone. And out here, I want to dig it. everything because this is cooking a ranch. And you never know what you might miss. So let's find this. I'm really missing my kids and my bride right now. I'm ready to get home. I've had enough. Look at that little fuzzy. What's impressive is how clean the little fuzzies stay under the dirt. That thing's gonna grow up and all those little white things on it are gonna be spikes. And if you touch it, we'll be into you. This is a humongoid piece of metal fence. I believe we're gonna leave that. I don't know what this is. I've been trying to get it out of the ground with just kicking at it and stuff on my shovel, but I can't get it to come on out. So we'll do it like this. Ho 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 ho! Ho ho! Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! You know what that is? Ho ho! Uh. It's Cool, huh? I mangled this little plant. These are actually really pretty when they grow. There's a piece of it right there. One of those seeds. That is an old hoe, isn't it? Let's take that and harvest it. It's nice, isn't it? It makes you wish you were about 12 again. I miss Doug. I miss Red. Is that it? Look at that. <laughs> it's a piece of lead. I'll never dig that again. I'm done. I got to show you what we got today. In case you forgot. Oh, I got that spider. Carrying that thing around. Whoops, just lost the shotgun show. How many we get? Only two and a half. That's kind of kind of a bummer, but it's okay. That is gonna be interesting. You've probably already stopped and looked it up. A couple head stamps, and then where's that large and in charge? Don't tell me I lost it. You're about to see the tears of a clown if I lost that big one. I did, didn't I? Remember that big one I found that looks like that? That's not it. These are little moderns that I found on the way out. I did lose it. That's a bummer. Okay, that's what we found today. Hey, thanks for going with me. I had a good time. Hope you all did too. Now I'm getting a little discouraged. Let me take the pockets. I know I didn't put my pocket in I didn't. I lost it. Oh, I wonder if I put it back on that tree. Now I put it in my bag, didn't I? Didn't I put it in my man purse? Tell me. Speak to me. Thanks for watching.